It's the end of the line for a part of Toronto's history. I miss seeing them around the city, like, this is what I grew up with. In the summertime, with the windows open, best air conditioning you could ever have. The famed Cherry Streetcars inspired artists over the years. That art took many forms. I'm a TTC skedaddler, got a socket from my big red rattler. I got a but these big red rattlers, technically known as the Canadian light rail vehicles, would never have rolled without the advocacy of Steve Monroe. The group I was part of, Street Cars for Toronto, the reason these cars even exist was that we were successful in convincing the city and the TTC to save the streetcar system in 1972. Monroe rescued the cars from being swamped for subways. Since then, the city has grown, and the Red Rocket often finds itself grounded in gridlock. There's a demand for much more intensive service on the downtown routes. Uh, by streetcars, service by streetcars? Street yeah. More than 300,000 people rely on them to get around every day. After four decades, these iconic streetcars are being replaced with a new, more accessible fleet. So the low force streetcars are able to carry far more passengers, close to double, uh, versus the CLRVs. Bombardier is building the replacements for about $1 billion. A handful are late, but the Toronto Transit Commission expects all 204 will be cruising through downtown streets in the coming weeks. As for the retirees... We will preserve one or two of the streetcars, and there are some other organizations that have also shown interest. Uh, there's an American uh, rail museum, and there's also one here in Ontario that are interested in having some of those streetcars. Coming to a museum possibly near you, but not before one final trip down memory lane this weekend. Olivia Stepanovich, CBC News, Toronto.